Uh, welcome to Capture the Earth Workshop Music Spotlight Series. What an honor to have our co string group here today. Uh, can you guys introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. My name is Suniva and I play the cello. I'm Maddie and I'm a violinist. And I'm Philip and I'm also a violinist. Together we are called ARCO and we are a group of musicians from the University of Maryland. Um, we formed in the graduate uh, string program and we are a group that is community driven and by that I mean we play in um, locations that are not just the traditional concert hall but also in the community, uh, places from bars to rooftops to nursing homes um, and so much more. And part of our mission is that music should be for everyone. Um, so we do that not only in the type of venues we play at, but also in the, the music that we program. Uh, today's program features uh, three classical pieces, but they're all influenced by folk music. For example, Florence Price's uh, five songs in Counterpoint, uh, Clementine is the movement we play from that, takes the the folk song and puts a uh, counterpoint technique such as uh, Bach would do against it. Uh, the, the second piece uh, by the Danish string quartet features uh, fiddle pieces that they collected from Nordic countries and arranged in classical style. And finally, the Lieber Tango is uh, by a, an Argentinian composer named Astro Piazzolla, and he combines the tango music of his home country with a high art of classical music.
I want to know is uh, what is your first musical experience? Because I know musicians start very young. Um, yeah, I'll take that one. So um, I am primarily a classical cellist, but my first formative musical experience um, was definitely through bluegrass music. My family loves bluegrass, and when I was a little kid, we used to go to this outdoor festival every fall, and that's when I really fell in love with music. I especially wanted to play the upright bass, which is how I ended up on the cello, because it was smaller. Um, and I'm still really inspired by folk music and improvisatory music. I think it's so freeing for me to listen to music that is played by ear and is improvised. But um, at the same time, there's something very special about classical music. What sets it apart is the role of the composer, who is like a musical architect and can create music that has very large forms, like a symphony. So over time, I've really been drawn into a lot of classical playing, but um, I still love to hear good fiddle music. Absolutely, and I'll take that one. Um, mine's kind of a little, little bit of a funny story. Um, I, I went to an arts and education uh, magnet school for elementary school, and they had this pilot program that everyone wanted to do, you know, where they started uh, students, third graders, on the violin. So they marched us up on a stage, and for about an hour they tried to see if we were any good or not. Unfortunately, I did not have the required talent to <laughs> play the violin, so they told me, no, you, you can't play violin. So it actually took probably f three or four years later until I was like, okay, if I rent my own violin, can I play, can I play, can I play, can I play? And that's the point where they're like, okay, well, we'll see how you do. <laughs> and yeah, that, and that was, you know, and I think, I think being told, you know that, I think I'm doing pretty well already. <laughs> so. Yeah, sure, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing.
Um, so we're still in the pandemic, uh, it's ongoing. Um, it has been very challenging for a lot of local musicians, but we want to hear your story. How is the pandemic has changing the music industry for musicians, especially that students who are, are still at school? Or... Um, I'll take that one. So, you know, I, I won't lie, no amount of you know, virtual programming can ever replace what it feels like to experience live music in the same room. Um, and I've been so inspired by all of the creative ways that different different arts organizations have um, have continued to bring art to their community. Um, I'm really grateful that you're doing this Musician Spotlight series, for example. Um, so in a way, there's been a silver lining that um, you know we're able to find creative ways to connect to each other, even when it's not possible to be in the same room. Um, on the flip side of that, I had the opportunity over the past few months to go to a few live. So much just more joy and gratitude being in both the audience and on stage um, as part of live music experience. So if anything, I think even though this is a really difficult time, I'm learning to appreciate um, what it means to experience music in a room together so much more. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as show, we really want to celebrate local musicians has talent like you guys, like this group. Um, and then the most importantly, we want to build communities, uh, a more diverse communities. And thank you so much for this amazing showcase today. Uh, and I really can't wait to hear the recordings. I hope you guys all have a very happy holiday. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.